Hello everyone and welcome back to the Up The Guts podcast. Joining you as always is your host, Tricky, my co-host, Connor. No, ho- <laughs> no halty this week. He's at a family, uh, he said he had a family night out, I'm pretty sure he mentioned. I, re- I reckon he's gone for a cheeky dinner with a, with a lady. After, <laughs> last, <laughs> after week. last week. But he's back. He's not piping down this week, but Dill. Dill wow. Nug, how are we, mate? I'm great, how are you? It's good to see you, mate. Good to see you too. First time, actually. Yeah, first time in the anyone, studio any, anyone, anyone noticed as um, soon as uh, Melbourne win again, he's, he's he, so, just <laughs> he just reappears. I'm happy to be here, boys. It's, he's uh, like a bad rash over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good to be here. Now, what, um, we'll, I guess we'll talk about the weekend before we get into it. A bit of local footy. Uh, we'll cut into... More about Dill's game later, but how did you think your nine inch performance was? Um, it was a good game. We're looking at well, it. It was a good till game. the last quarter. They, I think they ran. I was obviously warming up, but they ran. Away. <laughs> no, but it looked like they ran away with it in the last quarter. Yeah, we we had a good start. Good um, second quarter was lacking. Third was pretty good. Put us back in the game. Um, I thought third, along with the safe, did you touch on the safety game last week. Yeah, we touched on it a little yep. bit. Yep. Um, yeah, it's just to say you know so. if you listen to Sorry. it. But. Um, all right. Well, didn't even listen to the podcast last no. week. Don't, don't have the attention fan. Um, oh, you missed out some good banter between us. Oh, it was real good. Oh dear, I you probably you. should listen to that. Or oh, just go on the TikToks. There's some good ones there. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. If while we're at it, follow us on the TikTok, up the underscore gut, up the guts tw- 2022, I believe it is, or just search up the guts podcast. So there's no, so I sorry, believe it's just up the guts 22. Up the guts is taken, is it? Yeah, by him. He's got two I think it's up the guts 2022. Yeah, I, cu- I couldn't work out why that was, but it's definitely 2000. Hang on. Well, anyways, um, yeah, we've asked Mornington. Um, yep, up the up the guts, two thousand twenty-two. Yeah, right. There you go. Anyways, um, yeah, I I had a very average game. Um, How many Aussies? I think it was five. Five. Five and a goal. And I've heard it wasn't a bad goal. Well, he, he's talked up going, my girl was so good. So nah, had it was, to, had, it was had, average. Had, so to was du- it, had to double check with my brother. Was it I was like, over the top I was like, was Dylan, the goal so I said to my brother, was Dylan, currently Dylan's goal was good. Was it actually good? Wait, he replied, yeah, it was mint. Who, um, who, do I, do I say it was good? Yeah, you did. I yeah, probably did actually. Dribble up, wasn't it? Yeah. Holt, Holt, he actually assisted me. He'll I had a t- whole 50... F- he'll touch me. Ah, no. I was surprised he actually went for goal. He didn't go for goal. Um, but I had the whole 50 to myself. So I decided to go in on um and just make it a little bit hard and dribble it from the injury. Oh, no, you didn't. So you ran. You had the full 50 clear. It was a, it was, and nah. you ran to the boundary and dribbled it, have you? Uh, yeah. You are a flog. <laughs> I, I can't, tell you what. I respect it. it was, I, I tell you what. I drag him. Oh, I yeah. drag him for that. To yeah, be fair, oh, I'm actually quite off. happy because we, um, Brad, Brad Evans, I've just fucked his arm in the pre. Oh, so you're happy? He, he no, hurt his arm. No, Jesus, Dylan. Yeah, no, come on, Dylan. I'm, ha- exactly I'm happy. He's, he's, he's causing controversy. No, no yeah, wait. Oh, he's back already. I'm, I'm sad to see him injured. Um, injured. I, I don't. No, I don't. See him like you were. Well, yeah, no. I, I'm happy. I don't think you're saying was, that with your chest. I'm, ha- I'm happy there was a, uh, a spot on the bench. There was no spot on the bench for me. Oh, that's why he's happy because so, so he's I, starting I, on the bench. So I got to play more than half a game this week. But we've got Ra this, Ra this week. Do we? Yep. How'd you, you go, Trick? Oh, oh, we, we, I already kicked a Snossage roll. I had as well. You guys will love this. But uh, obviously we got up We got up a good win. It was actually a really good game. And uh, Connor will find this funny. So Maybe. we were up probably two or three goals in the last quarter. And they went on the roll late and kicked two late goals in a row. Mm-hmm. Minute to go. We're up by seven points. Oh, no. It's in their forward line. A stoppage happens. Mm-hmm. Um, there's about a minute, like 55 seconds. One of our skipper manages to have a blood nose. Umpire sends him off for the blood rule. Oh, no. In the and last... The siren goes. So, and then no so he, he just jogs it off. Some people yelling out, just walk it, walk it. He's like, he's jogging off. The other coach is going, oh, bloody hell. May as well just walk it now. Game's over. Well done, guys. Oh. And we're just sitting there going. <laughs> that's not bad. Fuck yeah, that's, that's the way to win. Ever, and then at the end of the game, the joke was, oh, great initiative by Tockers uh, to turn around and punch himself in the nose yeah, in that type of situation. I was just going to ask, did he just uh, clip himself up? Yeah, he must have just t- touched, punched yeah. himself in the nose. But ah. Uh, Got to lead from the front sometimes Roger, as captain. How did you actually play? Oh, I actually, actually went all right and uh, kicked, a, kicked a snag. Very nice. Take, t- talk us through it. Oh, well, I because I was in the moment, I didn't think it was that good. Yeah. yeah. 
But I knew how I did it, but then everyone said, no, nah, it was actually a pretty solid goal and the finish was good. So prior to that, I'd bumped the guy, then we caused a stoppage and it came into our full forward, Kyle. I fa- um, like fagged I was going towards him and then they all followed him and then I stayed out, called for the handball, got the handball, uh, left foot snap dribble around the oh. goal, snap around dribble, straight through the middle. And then the celebration, because I did it. I did it. was big. I, did, I kicked at the change room then. Oh, no. Yes. So I turned around to the crowd, and as I'm running, give him the fist pump. Like, uh, this is exactly what I did. I was like, I love that. come on. I love that. That's good. I like did that. Did you do the show the ball thing? No, I was like, come on. Did you get much of a reaction? Uh, everyone's like, oh, Tricky. <laughs> yeah. at, but prior to that, when I was putting the bump on, they were like, fucking flatten him, Tricky. <laughs> get him, Tricky. Fuck yeah. Happy, so happy? You happy with your performance? Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, I was are pretty you, happy. You reckon you're gonna get picked this week? I mean, kick the goal, so I'd hope so. Well, you know, you've been in and out. I reckon you got a bit of a sympathy call up this week. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh Jesus! He's sitting, no, he's sitting there on the head there. Yeah, yeah. I reckon there was a bit I, of sympathy no, I, on I, that. Honestly, I'll, 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 don't talk to me about sympathy call ups. You're only getting a game because you guys don't have anyone else to pick from. We have no. We're we're nine ends. Of course, we've got no one to pick from. No, meaning yeah. like you don't have like 25 people. You have the same people play every week. So don't come at me, mate. Be different. Scum might be the first to leave you out. Can I confirm that uh, after the sure. misselection on Thursday night, you may have thrown out some toys out of a pram? Oh. No, that's not and true. There was Come a walk off. No, no, oh, not oh, true. Not this. true. I was tired. All right, okay. I'll I'll see if I can quickly get up. I stayed. I stayed for all the. I just didn't stay for fines. No, no, yeah, yeah. I've just got some sources down at Devon, and they said you may have. Would your sources be storm straight out of there? You no, don't have any sources. I've got sources down Who? there. No, oh, mate, I can't reveal them. You right don't have early. any sources. Don't have any sources, mate. Now, um, I reckon, uh, I reckon, you said later, but I reckon um, he's on his edge of his seat. I reckon we got to get him to hold his blow up. Yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty nervous. Now, obviously, Holty sent us his message, so I'm just going to make sure the Bluetooth is connected to the Rodecaster. Oh, yes, we are. I've, and Before we get into it, I've had a lot of people um, talk to me at training, mostly 9 boys, and they've said I, that I have to stop taking shit from Holty. Who you says this? Who, give, give, throw some names. I can't. No, yeah, you can. I can't. Come no. on. Uh, maybe we'll ask him after we've yeah. heard Holty's. Who, yeah, who, tell us who's on your side. Oh, no one's on my side. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Now, I believe Holty's actually at uh, Hog's Breath right now. Righty, so. lads. How are we all going? And all the listeners out there as well. Uh, sorry I couldn't make it in today, uh, but uh, I'll keep this Holty's blow up nice, quick and short Mind so you, you can get on with your show oh. and kill it as always that you do each week, you three handsome young men. All righty. Holty's bar for the 27th of June, 2022. <laughs> Starting off with the New Zealand cricket team. My bloody God, I'm ashamed that they are our neighbours. My freaking God. Seriously. Letting Jack Leach, the bloke that can't even turn a cricket ball to save his life or turn his career around, just bowls darts down the pitch. Letting him get 10 for, for the match. Oh, my God, make me sick. That is unbelievable. That's fair. Would you even classify him as a spinner? He ain't no off spinner. He's just a slow freaking darts bowler. Seriously, you may as well name him Michael Van Gerwen because that's how much he throws darts down the pitch. <laughs> Seriously. May as well be calling 180 then. How's that? My goodness. Next one. Tom Stewart's bump on Prestia. Yeah. Tom, 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 listen here. I love my catters very much and dearly. And I love you, Stuart, dearly. But, mate, you are all Australian material. You are the best backman in the league. There is no need to be doing stuff like that, okay? That is completely unnecessary. That was very stupid. He already got rid of the ball. There is no need to place a bump like that on the meatball and turn him into bolognese, okay? <laughs> the bloke is already in shambles enough, Prestia. Oh, but that is not it. Oh. You okay. Richmond fans out there. Yes, you Richmond fans out there. I respect yous. You go wild at the crowd, in the crowd, sorry, and you love your club and your punt road and, ugh, you're Mick Malloy. Ugh, don't make me vomit. Seriously, your comments on Facebook 
relating Tom Stewart's bump on Prestia to Barry Hall's punch on Staker. Oh, that is making me sick. I'm sorry, but Tom Stewart's bump was in motion. It was his shoulder at least. Barry Hall on Staker mm. was a full-on punch. Seriously, it was a full Muhammad Ali knock the jaw off into another galaxy. You cannot relate that to Tom Stewart's bump. That is utter disgusting. And you really need to look in the mirror and think about what you say and look at yourselves deeply. Dude. Last one. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we this go. one hurts. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Because I'll work with this fella on this show. Oh. And this will be the last time I'm going to blow up about this bloke no, too because that's, that's I've lie. done that's it enough. That's and I feel like I'm taking him down layer by layer Actually, and I don't want to destroy his confidence even more. Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Connor's given it to you and I've given it to you. What you said to me in that last quarter at Mornington, against Mornington, sorry, on Saturday, only did not hurt me, but pissed me off. My God, your exact words. Holty, I love you, but you've been bathed today. <laughs> My goodness. I know when I played a bad game, mate, when ScoMo's giving me freaking friggin sprays. Oh I don't need to cop it from a bloke that averages 0.5 disposals a game. I'll get the sheets up. All right, and I gifted you a goal as well, and you didn't even friggin' look at me. Didn't even high five me. Just walked straight <laughs> past me and gave me donuts. <laughs> My goodness gracious. If I ever hear those words from you again, McMahon, I will throw up on you <laughs> on the ground and bury her in that mud pit of Glover Reserve. Halty out. Wow. He did not just say that, did he? Right. Okay, response. You but, but, when, when, I, when I was when I was listening to to make sure, so he doesn't. We don't cover anything else he does. And I heard, Holty, I love you. But you've had a bath. Holty, <laughs> you've had a bath. <laughs> okay, oh, Dylan. Moment Jesus. of truth. Did you say this? Uh, a bit. Of, I'll, I'll go into a bit of context. I was playing on a bloke who I played last week. He, um, no, last ga- um game we versus Mornington. Um, I think a lot of viewers would probably know who he is. He um. Did a TikTok, like a, basically he was really big on TikTok, and I was talking to him, and then I go, um, oh, what do you what do you reckon about um number three? Do you reckon he can play seniors? And he goes, nah. So I go, um, and then he goes, oh, he's giving this bloke a bath, and then he just starts abusing, like calling Tristan, you've had a bath all day, mate, get a touch, and for about ten minutes to go, he's just been hounding him, uh, um. And we're just talking back and forth. And then I, I go up to him. This is after he, I think, I think he loses a um, mark contest. I go up to him. A bit, bit, bit of support. I love you, but you've had a bath. Oh, and no. may I add, he has. He was so clean. The bath was just, yeah, the, the bloke just dominated him all day. But I'll, I'll, I'll um, in regards to that goal, I did go up to him and try high five him, but he just didn't look at me. Fair was enough. Is this before to, the comment or after the comment? I actually don't remember when I actually said it, but I know it was after a marking contest. All right. Yeah, we're just bantering, but bantering. Me and me, the uh, me and my opponent, but yeah, no, nah, it was it was good. I I, I, st- I stick by my words, and <laughs> <laughs> in, in regards to um, Scomo's uh, comments after the game, boy, was that harsh. What can we? Can you fill us in? Uh, it, not exact words, but he said if you if you yell at someone for doing something and then do the exact same thing, you should be. I, I don't know what he'd said after it. Like ashamed of yourself or something, and everyone the look um just looks at each other as just oh, it was, well it wasn't a great change rooms to be after the game, but Holty helped it. Yeah, poor Holty. Cool. Now uh, you in the car right here. You said you're going to stand up for yourself. You got a few words to say about Holty? Holt, oh no, no, I, you can't back down now. You can't back down. He, he he's picked on you. He's blown you. He's cannoned you. What have you got to say in response? You said you're t- this is word he said in the car, guys, listeners. <laughs> I'm tired of being Mr. Nice Guy. Mr. Nice Guy. And I said, when were you Mr. Nice Guy oh, to start please. with? Please, <laughs> I am a nice. And guy. then he said, I am a nice person. So I tapped him on his tapped him on the leg and said, "Keep telling yourself that, buddy." <laughs> 
anything in response, mate. To, halty. The, to the things Halty's been giving you. Halty, Halty, Halty. When you've... Oh, no, I, don't, I can't do this. He doesn't want to do it because he's scared because he's now his whole thing's coming for him on Thursday night at footy. Oh, shit, yeah. I mean, are we, we're playing this week. So I'm going to go light. Holty, if I see you get dominated that badly at right, we're going to have a serious conversation. Ooh. I know I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not the best player. Not, I probably am the worst player in the team. But I know what's going on. Ish. <laughs> Holty, you need lift, mate. You can't have two weeks. You can't have two games in a row like that. I love you. You're a great. You're a great man. I I, I know you're going to come back from. I hope you're going to come back from this. Um, but yeah, lift. That's me out. Dylan out. <laughs> Dylan, if we're going to do sprays of people, you got to you got to say it from the heart. You know, you can't just that was hardish. You can't second guess yourself. Just go in there, mate. Oh, it's- I don't want to get abused at training again. Oh, come on. Uh, should I show him what it's like? Should I Should I give him one from the heart? Oh, no. 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 I, I've got one right here. What do you got? Dylan. Oh, is it, oh. Why we, do I cop it every Dylan, week? Dylan. Are we doing someone else circles right now? Dylan, someone Dylan. else get uh, no, no, Wait, wait. Dylan. Dylan. Everyone. Dylan. My dad we, listens to this. We love you on this podcast, oh, mate. No. We do love you. But- you don't get to fucking pick and choose when you turn up. Just because Melbourne doesn't do it. Oh, I've got Jim. Look at you. You're a scrawny little fucker. What Jim are you doing? Come on now. I'm coming from the heart here. I'm showing you how to really spray. Pull your head in. <laughs> Melbourne pulled their head in. I don't think you've got the capacity to do it in that little head though. I don't think you do. Now, I now don't I think another, you do. Now have another shot at Holty here. Nah, I can't. You can't. That's the type of gut shit you've got to deliver. <laughs> All right? It's coming from the heart. You little pipsqueak. <laughs> Tricky out. See, that's that's how wow. you do it. All right, okay. so... We'll I've just been fucking demoralised. Every podcast... <laughs> there's a reason I don't come to this fucking podcast. I'm abused by everyone. <laughs> the fucking camera's next and they start fucking abusing me. Every, everything's abusing We're me. We're just saying it from a place of love, though. Oh, no. I, I, I'll take it. You know, It's constructive criticism. It is. I'll take it and I'll improve myself. Yeah. All right. All right, can we move on the highs and lows of the weekend? Yeah, all right, we can do some highs. Do you mean to kick it off? Yeah, you can kick it off if you like. All right, so my high for the week is Johnny Bairstow. What are you, 140-odd, I think, he ki- hit? Kicked, eh? I said hit. He did say kicked at first. Oh, yeah, I was going to. Then I'm like, oh, no, that's crazy. Good season. Anyway, he's, he's absolutely smashed a ton. Got England right out of the shit. And probably put them in a position to win the test match now. Agree? Yep. Yep. All right. Lows. This one's tough. I'm actually going to go away from the footy. And I'm going to go a bit political here. Oh, no. Oh, no. But the the American Congress. Oh, no. What are you fucking doing? He's going political and I'll... Wow. What are we? Are we living in the 1900s in fucking America? Jesus Christ. Pull your fucking head in. Abortion should be allowed for the serious cases that, like rape and all that stuff. Now they can't even do it. Now we're just going to see people doing unsafe abortions in America. So seriously, if I was in America, I'd be fucking outie. Yep, that's all said. All right, now uh, I'll I'll go next. My high would have to be your sausage roll. My sausage roll. That's (laughs) one. Very nice. Another high would have to be, oh, my weekend on the punt, may I add. Yeah, yeah, you did all right. I did all right. For Friday night, start off with a, a 12-leg multi, put 10 bucks on it, one two fifty seven. Then we had a good good day on the horses, didn't we, Connor? Yeah, we had a not bad day on the horses. And then the next day, I won 100 bucks on another multi, and I was $426 up for the weekend, so I was very happy with that. That's a little nice little paycheck from school. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't bad. And another thing was that another high is I got uh, the road wireless go, so that we're going to be doing some more yeah, it's very footage in, in footage on like interviews after the game, or I'm going to put some mics on some people when they're doing stuff. Ooh, yeah, can you mic me up while I'm all trying? No, nah, it'll be up? absolutely putrid. I've oh. heard I've heard the chat well, you give. Yeah, you all, all it's going to be is you're, you you thumping on the ground when me and Holty put you in the dirt. No, nah, warm up. That'd be good entertainment. Yeah, actually, I think he could be good on it because he's an annoying little twit, I reckon. 
Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, he'll be fun. Everyone would just be like, shut up, Dylan. Yeah, but he, no one else knows that he's mic'd. Yeah, if I do it sneakily, it'll be good. So it's just you and... It's just I don't you think and, he uh, can be sneaky, though. No, yeah. he'd be no like, I reckon he, he can. No, he'd be, oh, like, shit, like, shit. he'd be like, guys, guys, not going to believe it. But I've got a $20 bonus best sitting in a sports medical. I'll, I'll be extremely sneaky, Trick. We're, we're doing this um, this week. You're micing me up before the game. Yeah, I like it. Do it. Let's go. Okay. For the pun set. TikTok, um, be prepared. It's going to be very good entertainment. You think I was annoying before? I'm going to be even more well, how, how long are you going to have it on you for, though? A while. Because that, that's a lot of editing for me, but I'm not going to lie. But, you know. <laughs> uh, you, you got to video it as well. You need, you need a video. I, I'm not video. videoing it if I'm going to be worrying about my own game to get picked. Trick, you, see, you probably won't even be awake. Yeah. So you, you're going yeah. you're gonna to wake up, you're going to record me warming up, and then it's going to be great content. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. Thank you. But now everyone knows that we're going to be doing that this week. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm not going to be mic'd up. We'll do it next week. <laughs> yeah. He's taking himself <laughs> real good. You know what? He's just saved it. He's not mic'd up this week. Don't worry, guys. Yeah. Um, My lows. Brisbane's performance. Yep. That's fair. Absolutely putrid, if you ask me. They haven't won a g- I think they've only won one game at the G in like 15 years they or something. They haven't won in the, at the G since 2014. Yeah, it's pretty I got unimpressive. got another one for you. How about those Dons? <laughs> that was no <my> one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. As I always say, tricky. All good sides <laughs> lose to West Coast. <laughs> yeah, you got me there. You got me there. You got me there. Pipe down the end there, cunt. <laughs> Don't make me start on you. I did tell you if you kept going, I'll ruin you. <laughs> and he stopped. <laughs> now, highs and lows for you, Dill. I swear to God, if you come with Melbourne. He's going Melbourne. Look at him. My high would be... Um, Obviously, uh, what did I do over the weekend? Obviously, kick the snag. <laughs> you know exactly what you did on the weekend. <laughs> he just wants uh, to make I played a bit of Four Guys. That's a high. Four Guys is back if anyone. I played it for a little bit. It was no good, but yeah. It's a great game. It's not a bad game, yeah. Yeah, uh, my final high was Melbourne. F- no, from finally winning, I reckon. And other than that, um, bit of awareness for breast cancer. That was good. Yeah. The breast cancer game was really good. I liked it. My low is probably uh, Essendon. I watched a bit of the Essendon game. Actually, I got another high. No one's mentioned it. The Gold Coast Port game. Yeah, that was. A oh, bad Holty was. was. If you guys were listening last week, Holty was so close to eating a hundred nuggets. I reckon you should just do it anyway. But oh. it wasn't a draw. It doesn't matter. Just, just for the content. It. Yeah, just funny. <gasps> we'll, we'll, we'll try and convince. Do you reckon you can do it? I reckon you can do it. Like, what is it? Ten nuggets a minute. Yeah, that's oh. Easy. oh. Dylan could probably do it. No, no, I'll throw up after twenty. Connor, Connor would give it a good crack. Nah, I can't eat that many nuggets. I struggle with twenty-four. Grow up. <sighs> Grow up. Oh fuck off, tricky. <laughs> uh, nothing like a good bacon egg in the morning though. Oh, how good are they? <laughs> good Seriously bacon tricky. egg muffin. I'll just be walk out of the office. There's tricky fucking standing on the line. <laughs> <laughs> down the bacon and egg. <laughs> what, like, what are you fucking doing, mate? Just have a bacon egg. All right, mate. Chuck us one. And there <laughs> we go. We have a bacon and egg together with our with our energy drinks. And I'm sure um, Jack doesn't listen, but uh, he's the culprit for bringing back ham cheese pockets. <sighs> not a fan of him. Shit. Yeah, like like make him? him at home. Yeah, like him. No, not a fan. Oh, okay. He used to come in every morning when I had six two and get four. Yeah, he four was too. Yeah, he was that type of like. Um, did you do your you finished your lows now? What was your cannon on, by the way? Or you gonna let me know when you're going to? Uh, I think we know what it's gonna be about. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dylan, would you like to take us through this game or? Yeah, I'll go through it. Um, Thursday night football. First of all, thoughts on Thursday night? Big fan. Big fan. Big, Big fan. fan. Thursday night. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm like in the middle of it. But no one asked your opinion anyway. But there's nothing to I'm do. On, there's nothing to do on a Thursday night anymore, deal. It's good for TV, not good for like if you want to go in. So like to the footy, say say your team's playing, um, it's the seven thirty. You got to go there. Maybe depends how far you live away. Get home ten ish. Then you got to go to work. Um, the following night. Following you go to work, do you? I actually did uh, on Friday. No, actually, did. I did not. I did not. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't walk. Um, Couldn't walk. For what? What were you doing at the like, Thursday night? What, what, what was last week the ankle? Or was that the week before? That was last week. No, I, I'm a big fan of Thursday night footy. Yeah, it's good. 100%. It's good, but yeah. I, I reckon it should be every week. 
But yeah, I agree. So you're it's not making a lot of sense here, Dill. Yeah. So I'm, do I'm, we like it or we don't <laughs> yeah. like it, Dill? I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I say the good things, but I say the bad things. Anyway, we'll just go into this. <laughs> Great <laughs> game. But I think if you're going to go to the footy, you're always going to go regardless of what yeah. night it is. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, uh, dad doesn't really work. I mean, it does work, but I couldn't give a fuck about work and Rob goes to school, so it's, it's fine for us. It yeah. may be a different situation for others. I'm just speaking on my experiences. Yeah. I'll out. Thank you. All right. <coughs> Melbourne versus Brisbane. Um, Melbourne, 16, 21, 111 to Brisbane, 7. Was 117, I swear. I 117. I said 117, didn't I? You said 111. Sorry. 53, Brisbane. Um, Oliver dominating again. Checky spotlight. Oh, tricky spotlight, but we're, we're calling spotlight. it in early. Clayton Oliver, you just fucking cut the deal straight. <laughs> Sorry, Clay, I, he was gonna, he was gonna ruin it. Where Clayton are you Oliver, tell us this. Clayton Sorry. Oliver, I, I run this show. Oh, Clay, Clayton, oh. Oliver. Clayton Oliver, absolutely dominated. Really, he butchered it a little bit. Thirty-five disposals, two goal assists. I'd like to butt in. Eleven score involvements, twelve clearances. It's yeah. a big gap. Yeah, well, what was his efficiency? That was a big gap. I think it was set. Was like, I think it was sixty-eight or seventy. <laughs> That's poor of its sixties. You've gone too early on the tricky spot. Yeah, way too early. No, yeah, I, he I, played awesome. But yeah, he but that, there, there's there's my spotlight. I would have personally. I'd have Jack Viney over. Um, I was tempted to go Jack Viney. Uh, Jack Viney, for some reason, has just put his finger at his ass. And Didn't he do his hamstring? Nah. Well, he had thirty-four. We have seven tackles, eight score involvements, eight clearances, and five and twenty nine meters gained. Oh sh- yeah, like you look, you got um, Daniel Rich had thirty three as well. Track had thirty one. Brayshaw twenty nine. Brayshaw, did anyone actually watch the game? I watched a little bit. Uh, um, Angus Brayshaw is one of the best halfbacks in the league. <laughs> he, the amount of times he marks the ball and has saved us, like even the Colombo game. He I just, wouldn't even. Cl- Really classified as a half hour. I feel like he's just been put there because he's had to be yeah. put there. Yeah. yeah. So you can't really say, oh, he's the best half down you know of, the, of, the, uh, of the wing. Because of Jordan? Yeah, Jordan. And because um, we had no Salem, so we had to fill Salem's role. Yeah, that's fair. Um, he's, having a, he's having a pretty good year. He's probably back to his best. Oh, shit, yeah. It's good Good to see. Um, Steve, Stephen May and Jake Lever back together was great to watch. The only reason Jake Lever plays well is because Stephen May. Exactly. Yeah, they they work like if you look at the contest, they work well together. Oh, yeah. it's so good to watch. Uh, a couple of things I'd written down was um, Harms's tag on Neil. Yeah, he did well. Well, obviously he Neil was off to a flyer. He went to Neil. Neil, I think he had eight in the first quarter, and then it just shows that how much Neil isn't a two way runner. The yeah. way that Harms can tag him, get pushed off him, and kick two in the first half. Yeah. How many did Neil end up with? Uh, he, uh, 22. Steve May had more possessions than him. Wow. For Neil, that's pretty average. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, he still had a pretty good game. 22 disposals, one goal assist, nine score involvements, four marks, three tackles, seven clearances. Still a pretty good game. I, yep. don't, I think with those kind of players, you can't shut them out of the game. you just got to try and nullify them. Which I think Harms did. Nullify their influence on the game, which I think, yeah, Harms probably did that. Uh, another thing I had down, uh, James Harms and Toby Bedford, they goal of the year contenders. Toby Bedford, uh, which one of those two goals? Was it the first or second one? Whichever one he oh, snapped. Yeah. Just, and then Harms is one. I don't know what the guy was doing on the line. Which one's this one? He, he just kicked it, and he just kicked it really, really high. He was on a really awkward angle, and then the guy just, like, marked it. Oh yeah, but he was behind the line. Oh, he was a f- he was the first player, mad. The first game player, sorry. Yeah, but well, maybe you should keep it like that if you're gonna oh. dig up dig up forms oh. like that. But um, yeah, Toby Bedford had a great game. Are they are they goal of the year contenders? Is what I'm asking. Nah, I'd say Toby Bedford top five. What about Harms's? That angle. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Those goals happen every week, though. Do they? I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen them, but I don't really look at goal <laughs> of the weeks, to be honest. The that's not why I'm watching football. Oh, that's a fucking good goal. Uh, Jackson. Luke Jackson's first game as the number one Ruckman. Yeah, How yeah, we think he went? Well, he had 21, 21 touches, a goal, 18 hitouts, 10 score involvements, and three clearances. Is he showing that he can be a number one Ruck? Or do you, well, see, do you see him as just a, oh. a person who is there as another midfielder? 
Um, for me, I think it like he had a fucking awesome game. Um, he still lost the hitouts, I believe. He still lost the hitouts. I don't think he's a pure ruckman. I agree. I think he's just as we said, he's kind of a that midfielder that kind of plays in the ruck. But we, you, what you want Jackson doing is that influence around the ground. Keep in mind, he's 198 centimeters, and he's like he can just do what a midfielder can do as well. Like, yeah, I think well, he's got a um, basketball background. Oh, you yeah, had to played, mention that. Oh, he played well. No, he played yeah. ba- Australia yeah, basketball. I think with Luke Jackson, what you want him is you want him around the ground. That's why he's yeah. in the side. He, I'll, he's probably going to be more of a forward for me. Uh, injury worries the Lions with. Uh, Oh no! Sorry, that was another thing I was going to ask is: Is Brisbane's backline too slow? I think Brisbane's just too slow. <laughs> Their forward I, line's. I heard. I heard this question. You guys say you got Rick, Daniel Rich. Slow. Um, yeah, super. Slow. Rich is not that slow. Starsevich. Yeah. Marcus Adams. Yep. Gardner. Andrews. Well, Zolko's playing off the half back flank. Yeah. Not always. He's he's been more mid and half forward. He's I reckon. Both. He's been playing off the halfback flank for most of the year. No, they pushed him out of that. Oh, see, that would have left him there. Daniel Rich is not slow, FYI. He's not fast. He's not slow. They, they reckon the game's catching up with him. Yeah, but you don't ha- you don't need him to be fast. He just, you know, 60 metres straight tits out with that leg. True, true. But clubs are understanding him a bit more now, though. They probably need a, that, like, as we said, that uh, line breaker off the back flank. Which they were probably hoping that Ken Coleman would be that. Yeah, not a chance. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go, go through one more thing. Yeah, go for it. So I sit, I sit the Melbourne members, um, <laughs> as you said, and it, so oh this, so it's, it's just it's not. not it's not gonna be the photo, is it? What photo? Ben Brown. Oh no! What the fuck? Where are you going? What do you got? So I just want to point out how fucked people are at the football. So um, oh. <laughs> oh oh, we'll get into that later. So, um, Joe Danaher, right? He flops a bit. We've got this one bloke behind us. Bit of a nuffy. A very big nuffy. More than you. Oh, he makes me look like an Essen supporter. He's terrible. Like, oh, it's bad. So, every time anything happens, he stands up and just yells as loud as he can. So, ball, and it's the stupidest things. Every time Joe Danaher was in 100 metres, he'd get up and just start abusing him. Like, oh, you suck. Just every <laughs> no one else is talking. Like everyone just sit down and he's <laughs> him and his dad are up yelling. <laughs> it's just fucked. Like roll the reverse, he'd be fucking crying. Like it's it's what I'm trying to say is how, how much abuse the AFL players actually get is pretty fucked. Even even on social media, in in person, like yeah, it's, it's yeah, no, I agree. It's pretty fucked. Anyways, talking about encounters, do you want to take us for your Queen's birthday oh. encounter with a Collingwood supporter? So I was at the footy with a couple of friends um, and we were in the nose, please. Me, myself and I or? No, a couple of friends. Um, the 13 year olds from the G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was, that was actually a really good day, mate. That was one of the best days <laughs> I've ever had. Um, I was sitting up in the nose, please, first time. That's very unlike you. You're usually front row, centre, yeah, level one in the MCC. It's weird. Uh, I didn't like it. And this is the first time I've ever sat with Collingwood supporters. You that, poor fucker. Oh, we're great people. No, no, no. And then there's three people like they have to be pissed off their head or on drugs or some shit. Typical, uh, typical Colin with water. <laughs> so I'm sitting here. He's sitting about. Don't here. you pipe up syringe? The tricky's gone. Don't you pipe up syringe? He was sitting about there, Never and then like, obviously I'm a nuffy. So every time Melbourne. Get oh, and how'd, how'd you say was that? Anyways, was it the Melbourne mouse pad? Oh, the, <laughs> the two Melbourne mouse pads. I've got two of them, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep going <laughs> oh, um, Yeah so you're sitting there And then every time obviously you'd stand up And clap when we got a goal And then as we start losing As we start When Mason Cox kicked that goal This bloke comes up to me Behind me and just goes Yeah he's about three, three or four seats that way Walks over to me and yells my ear So I'm like what the fuck Keeps the one after every goal <laughs> And then I'm sitting next to Right this highway I'm sitting. Oh, fuck off. I'm sitting next <laughs> to a Collingwood supporter in, who's my mate. Um, bit of a nuffy. Um, all Collingwood supporters are nuffies. Um, Not a good way to talk about your mate, but anyways, he runs. So then I was like, "Fuck!" And he just starts hugging him. She was like, "Fuck!" That was a close call. But moral of the story is: do not sit with Collingwood supporters in the nosebleeds. One hundred percent. The, the tickets were ten dollars, and that's probably their weekly allowance um, from Centrelink. 
Thank you. No, they get like 400 bucks from selling it. Yeah. Fuck. If you're going to come with facts, at least be right. Yeah, so they spent three ninety on meth and the other ten on the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got them. And ten bucks for one beer, so that's. I have to you would know. You don't drink beer, mate. You don't drink. You're yeah, not gonna. You know, I don't, I don't, do you want to know what I drink? What? Vodka. Champagne out of the oh, oh, Premiership go. Cup. Oh, I knew he was going to. Anyways, I, I think it's enough of uh, this game. Uh, next game, Friday <laughs> night. Uh, Bulldogs in Hawthorne. Uh, Bulldogs 19-11-125 Defeated Hawthorne 12-11-83 Goal kickers were Riley West 3 Aaron Norton 3 Shaki 2 Dunkley 2 Johannesson 2 Bond and Pally Hugo Hagen Libertoria O'Brien McComb Dale and Sweet For the Hawks Lewis continues his good form With 4 Bruce 3 Moore 2 Butler uh, Reeves and Newcomb Disposals were McRae 31 Libba 30 with 8 tackles, 12 score involvements, and 11 clearances. Dale 28, Chalor 27, Bontepelli 27 with a goal, 7 tackles, 13 score involvements, and 8 clearances, and Dunkley 27. For the Hawks, it was only Scrimshaw 26 and Warpool 25. Uh, talking points. Uh, dogs start slow, but kick 13 goals on the trot. Oh, they were impressive. Uh, I only watched till about 8.40 until the next game. but uh, Jeez, that was a mistake. We'll touch on that later. But. Fuck off, Tricky. We'll get to that. But no, Bulldogs, I don't know, couldn't believe that you guys didn't think Bulldogs are going to make the aid. They're going to make the aid quite comfortably, I think, after yeah, that I think, performance. Yeah, well, they, if they dish up that, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, Bontepelli was good again. Mm-hmm. Okay, the usual. Angry Sicily. Oh, how good cool was that? That's funny. Did, did that, and then he took the headband off Norton. Yeah, that But did, was did you see why he got into Bontepelli? Because Bontepelli laid like, no, down his... Before that, Bond Pelly gave a handball off, and then because Sicily was coming this way, he gave the handball to Bond, put Sicily on his ass. Oh, really? As, it was a solid hit. Look, I think I saved the video. Sicily is a character and a half. Yeah, I think I saved. He got it. fined for that, for the headband. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He got he got fined for it, did he? Yeah, they were talking about it on SEN on the way over. Yep, fined for it. Yeah, but let's see if I saved it. But yeah, um, another thing I was going to say is yeah, Bond's back. Would you agree with that? If forms yeah. like that, yeah, no, that was he was pretty dominant again. He's not bad. Oh, the old Bontepelli. Here we go. Here's a video. The good old TikTok highlight. Flattened him. Flattened him. He flattened him. Flattened him. Absolutely flattened him. Also, Mitch Lewis, not bad. He's star. He's gonna be a star. Well, he just signed for another four years, I believe. Yeah, two. And uh, Riley West. Three yeah, goals and 19 well. touches, and yeah. he, I think he kicked three or two last week as well. Yeah, no, he's having a breakout year for sure. Hugo yeah. Hagen? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, uh, West, he's a gun. He's he's going to be a gun. His dad was a gun. His dad was a ruckman, though, wasn't he? No. No, he's a midfielder. Midfielder, sorry. That's um, Darcy, sorry. Yeah. Um, do, you want to take, do you want to take the next game, or should I just press the, press the count now? Uh, no, let's go through the game, and then I'll count on it. Uh, okay, so West Coast 16, thir- uh, 11, 107 defeated Essendon <laughs> 14, 13, 97 uh, Kennedy kicked 5 Cripps 3, Rioli 3 Darling 2, Ryan 2 and Waterman For the Bombers, Stringer No, sorry, Wright 4, Stringer 3 Martin 2, Jones 2 Guelphie 2 and Perkins Disposals uh, Redden at 22, Shuey 21, Hearn 21 for the Bombers, Merritt 28, Shield 26, eight scoring volumes and nine clearances. Talking points, you called it, Alec Yo to halfback. Yeah, it has to be a playing off that halfback flank. And if you were at any side looking for a halfback flanker, he's your fucking man. He dominated on that uh, Friday night. <laughs> All right, fucking hit it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he's fucking. There's, there's two blues. All right, All right okay. You get it, you, you're colorblind. <laughs> All right, first off. Don't know how I've been seeing two What players. the fuck is the AFL doing with two fucking Friday night games? Great call. Well said. Seven o'clock start. I actually don't mind a seven o'clock start. It's not too late, just not at the right time. 8.40 for the second game. <laughs> what if you have work the next day at 5 a.m.? 8.40. I didn't get to bed till midnight. Absolute joke. Seriously. I would have turned it off at 9.30. Oh, Fuck off, Tricky. Let me have my fucking spotlight. Seriously, though. 8.40. Two Friday night games is a fucking joke. 
Thursday night footy, one Friday night footy, the rest Saturday, Sunday, and if we've got a long weekend, you put it on a Monday. It's not that fucking hard, <laughs> AFL. Seriously. All right. On to my boys. Embarrassing, weak, soft, utter, rancid fucking pieces of shit <laughs> are the words I would describe my football club at this minute. I've supported my heart out for the best part of 20 years. And on Friday night was arguably the worst fucking performance I've seen. My wife had already gone to sleep, so I had to be quiet. But if oh, she was awake, Jesus, there would be some neighbours thinking there was a domestic going on. <laughs> Jake Stringer, fuck off. You are a selfish hog. Seriously, mate, you turn it on for nine minutes of a football game every week. How about you play four quarters? Zach Merritt, you signed the brown paper bag deal last year. How about you fucking have an impact on a game? Absolute rubbish. Slipping over. Easy mistakes. So many sideways. Jesus. Ben Rutten. <laughs> he's got the coach. He's got the coach. Did you see his press conference after the game? No, I didn't, didn't tap into it. We are getting better. <laughs> Mate, we just lost wow. to the fucking bottom side. We <laughs> dominated that whole game and we have lost. We are not getting better. We are getting worse. You are, are about to get sacked, mate. Yeah. I can almost guarantee you he will not be the Essendon coach at the end of the year if these performances keep up. Yep, that's about all i got. Well done. So obviously you're not very happy with the performance at all. Oh, Did you watch the game? No. It was actually not a bad game to watch. It was what? What the, a multi off it though. Like... The bottom side versus the third bottom side, and it was pretty coast to coast. Well, you were game. messaging saying, "Oh, Essendon are going to dominate. Wright's going to have a field they, day." They fucking did dominate the game. Essendon, uh, if you, I think, if you look through the stats, Essendon won most major stat statistics, except for the one that counts the fucking scoreboard. <laughs> Seriously, though, if you're the goal coach, the goal kicking coach down at Essendon, can you please teach Peter Wright how to kick straight? If Peter and Wright kick straight, we win by fucking four goals. He had what, what he four, four. four goals, five or something. <laughs> he was having a field day. Jeez, that's as bad as Dylan's kick at Crib Point that time. Jeez, Let me Crib just Point. Did I score two goals, one and go, go, goal a day? Or yeah, but was What about your set shot? No one cares. That was Mark. We're talking about the AFL here, not how Dill kicked a goal against a bunch of spastics at Crib Point. <laughs> Is that pretty accurate? Crib Point, pretty bad, aren't they? Yeah. Pretty bad. yeah. Shout out to Crew Point. Four goals, four he kicked. A shout out to the shit match. Yeah. yeah, well done. Uh, yeah, seriously though, that was embarrassing. What are your thoughts, Tricky? <laughs> I mean, to Oi. be fair, at least we lost to uh, West Coast when they had all their plays in. Trick, you, you lost to West Coast as well, so I'd probably yeah, pipe down. But they they also Oi, lost don't to, you no, start no, Melbourne? No, no, they. Where are you? Dylan, the they also lost to West Coast when they had all their players out. So oh, it's even worse. Dear. Yeah, we we weren't that good then. Oh, we're on the up. You had the same players, the same coach. Yeah. What's changed? We know the system now. Oh, really? It's his first yeah, season. No, nah, full credit to West Coast. They actually played well. And <laughs> found the Wiggles. I actually like Finals them. bound. To be, for, to be honest, I'd prefer to lose to West Coast than North. Oh, but we'll lose yeah. to North in the last round and uh, take that number one pick. Oh, shit, yeah. Start All tanking. Right. Now moving on to Saturday. Carlton 12. The flag is... Flag, flag boys. Oh, I'm on them. Twelve. The, oh, the baggers. No, we're calling them the flaggers, mate. Okay. They call them the Twelve the nine eighty one defeated Fremantle seven eight fifty. Charlie Kerno, what a season he's having when he's at full full health. Kick four. Mackay two. Lockie O'Brien two. Our boy, um, our local boy, Matty Cottrell with two as well. Nunes and Silvani for the Freo. Tavernar two. Schultz, Lob, Henry, Collier, and Banfield. Uh, disposals. Jeez, wasn't he dominant? Sammy Walsh. Oh, he's just Four, 40 disposals with seven clearances. Doherty at 30. Zach Fisher bopped up for 29 disposals. He's getting better. And Saar, 28. Brody, Will Brody had a good game as well with 36. Mm-hmm. Brayshaw, 27. Talking points. Isn't that five in trouble for his touch on the umpire? Nah. No, I think he just got fined. Is that confirmed? Or? I'm fined, pretty sure he just got fined. Like but nah, shift. it's all right. Matt Five can do what he wants. And um, did you say that Matt Owie was a late call out in the warm-up? Yeah, he was, yeah. Did his car in the warm-up. And Fisher, uh, Motlop came in? Yep. Was it Motlop? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty in. sure Motlop came in. 
But that's uh, you don't see that very often, like. No, it's uh, very un. Seems pre. Oh no, nah, not. It doesn't happen. It happens. What were you gonna say? Now. It's preempted. I think was that. Is that the word? No, I think he genuinely hurt himself in the, the warm up no. deal. Stop wanting. <laughs> but seriously, how good is Sam Walsh? He's a star. Seriously, Zach <laughs> Merritt, go <laughs> fucking watch Sam <laughs> Walsh's game. He'll win a brown line. Oh, oh shit, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. yeah. Not, not even a question. He'll probably win next year's. He probably would have won this year's if he didn't miss the first five games. Yep. <laughs> now on to the next game. Fuck me, what a game. Yeah, this was a good game. Geelong. 13 11 89 defeated Richmond 13 9 86. Suck shit, Richmond supporters. <laughs> uh, goal kickers for the Cutters Cameron with three, Stengel with three, Henry with the game winner, two, mm. kick two. Uh, Slazak so Smith, Myers, close, Blixars, and Tui. For the Tigers, Bolton kick three, Lynch kick three, Rioli two, Martin Baker, Edwards, Clark, Ralph Smith. Disposals, Tommy Stewart, 29. Uh, Guffrey 28, 8 and 8 score involvements. Duncan 25 for the Tigers. Uh, Daryl Rioli 27 and Jack Ross 25. Talking points. How many weeks for Tom Stewart? Oh, do you want me to start it? Yep. Zero. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Why? <laughs> Dion Prestia shouldn't be running into people's elbows. <laughs> it's just silly of him. <laughs> so silly. No, nah, so you'll get two. I've gone three seems too light. Five seems too much. So I've got four. At least three. No, nah, he's oh, he'll get two. You watch. At least three. Four. Do you, do you see Marfred? Yeah, but Fuck. as Holty said, turn him into bolognese. Oh, that turn was Turn the meatball into bolognese. Yeah, but Tom Stewart's got a pretty good track record, yeah, so you know, it's going to help him. Right, it's cr- and he's pretty remorseful after it. Chris Scott gave him a bit of a character reference. And yeah. just a, just another thing um, I was, I heard listening to, how good and out of nowhere has Liam Baker become? Yeah. Well, yeah, now West Coast, West Coast are chasing him. Yeah, he's out of contract. Mm. They threw him in the midfield and he shaped that game and brought him back into yeah, it. W- he, he's... Um, they were saying on SCN, like Buckley said, um, as he loved like Brayden Maynard and all that, and Scott Penabry, but if you're uh, Damien Hardwick, he'd probably be nearly your fa- um, like coach's pet. Oh, yeah. You can, throw him, so. you can throw him at half back, you can throw him at half four, you can throw him in the middle. Yeah, no, he's a good footballer. Um, well, I couldn't watch the game because I was at my brother's house, and for some reason his Wi Fi is not working, so I couldn't. I had to listen to it on my phone. Oh, yeah. But it was, it was that was a ripping game. Um, I'm assuming um 105.1, the people we took aim at last week, you listened to? Oh, of course, of course. You, you didn't listen to that, did you? Holty took aim at Marty Shear, Golden Triple M. Yeah, apparently we're coming for his jobs. <laughs> and uh, we're coming for his jobs. And he said, "Us three, not you, because you weren't here." Yeah. Oh, anyway, back onto this game. <laughs> I'll keep the. Keep it on footy anyway. Yeah, country. All right, obviously we've had the Tom, head the Tom Stewart hit. Does the AFL need to bring in a red card? I said this for a while. So you, you think so? Yeah. Do you – because Kane Corners did bring it up. Um, should should Stewart have had to have been taken out? He's no. choosing to take out the player. Should, should Geelong then lose a player? Because mm. like it's not like it's a freak incident, like going back with a flight. I get Tom, what you're saying. Tom Stewart has gone and physically took aim at Prestia. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but so you say yes. I could, I'm more linked to yes than no, but I could see both sides. Dylan, see, they need to stop adding rules in because they're adding rules, changing rules yeah. every year. They need to stick to a, a set of rules because it's making it so hard to umpire. Yeah, and then they're over umpiring because they, yep. they need to b- abide by these rules. Like the umpiring right now. You guys might it's have It's disgraceful It is horrendous um, It's not their fault Because they've got So much rules That they need to follow mm. So strict And then you get In the heat of the moment Yeah I don't, well. I, don't yeah. I don't blame the umpires I blame the AFL Oh god Yeah no. 100% So I So I'm on the opposite With you I say no For one reason Exactly If we bring in a red card Into the AFL And it will be And they'll say It's for that dog hit Where you, that that player chooses To take out So like the Brent Staker Yeah but then the Tom Stewart They they have the choice Of what's a dog hit And what's not Correct And what does What happens in the AFL When we bring in a new rule And it gets overruled 
We'll be giving red cards for the stupidest oh, shit God in you. two years' time. It'll be like a push in the back, you know, a red card off. Yeah. Someone will get a red card for Jack Ginnam and getting under their skin. Correct. Actually, I, I, I like think to, if I you like to touch on that soon. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll touch on him later. I think if you're going to do it, it's a sin bin. Yeah. What do you mean by that? So, all right. So, Tom Short does the hit. Ten he minutes. has 15 minutes off the field. You're one down on the field. Agreed. So, a bit like ice hockey. Correct. Yeah. I think, and rugby. Shout out, Benny Drew. And rugby and stuff like that. They have the sin bin. That's what that should be for. That way, it is no, like, it's it's no thing. If you start a right, uh, if you start a fight on the field, sin bin. That kind of thing. That's straight away then. And then it's pretty easy to rule, I think. Also, what's your, um, did anyone see the oh, the umpire with the tracksuit pants? What's your thoughts on them coming out? Like, if say there's a fight, what's your thoughts on that? They come out and they walk out, blow a whistle and go back in. Yeah, well, they're only coming out to get their notebook out to get catch the uh, AFL coffers up. I, I think it's the most stupid thing. They should just sit down because that's the, like, the emergency umpire. Say someone does a hair hammy or something, that they come in. Mm. I reckon they should just stay on the bench and let the others umpire. Well, they also they also watch the rotations. Too. Yeah, that's what they should do. They should stay and do well, that. That's what they do. But it's no, I'm, I'm saying no. I'm saying if there's a fight, I don't get why they have to come out. Well, they ca- they come out to make sure like they can break it up easy. But truth be told, what the fuck's an umpire gonna do? I know exactly. You, yeah, <laughs> like, uh, just, yeah, I get what you're saying, Dil. Yeah. But yeah, just over umpiring still. It's yeah, it's 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 bad at the minute. Oh god, yeah. Don't know what yeah. they can fix it. Saturday night. <laughs> Say Kilda. <laughs> Say Kilda. You know what trick? It's like I always say. There's one worse side than Essendon. <laughs> <laughs> St Kilda, you jokes. <laughs> uh, Sydney 12 11 83 defeat St Kilda 4 8 32. Isaac Heaney kick three, Papley two, Clark two, Haywood, Franklin Parker, Florent Hickey all with one, Butler, Winhager, Billings, Membry all kicked one for the Swans, Lloyd at 39. And my person who I thought would have a breakout year this season, Nick Blakey, 31 and eight score involvements. He's great off that halfback. Yeah, he really is. Now. Finally found a spot there. Ollie what Florin had 27. Uh, Seb Ross, the, your butcher, oh. had 31. Steele, 29. 10 tackles and 8 clears in the return game. And Crouch, 27. Now, listening to SEN on the way in here, uh, did you notice Dylan Clark, he kicked two, but he played – he's known to be a bit of a tagger. Mm. Did you know he went to Jack Sinclair? Yeah, and Jack Sinclair was awful. He was. He's been while Steele's been out. He's been covering. He's pro- been their, be- yeah, he's their been. big dog, and like obviously Crouch is probably having his best. Yeah, but for a while. he really nullified. He did a brilliant job in Sinclair. You like, know what? Seriously, though, like, they've kicked four goals for a whole game of football. And may I add, I do not see King's name there. No, he got absolutely mauled. Who would have been on him? Rampy. Hey, Rampy would have played on him. So he's Rampy's given up about nearly twenty centimeters, and he's been mauled. Absolutely dominated. To be fair, a lot of it too would be the he delivery St. Kilda given to their forward got, He had eight disposals. King. The delivery St. Kilda given into their forward line has been putrid. They are putrid. They're genuine putrid. You know, you add Jack Steele back into that side and, yeah, totally different midfield. Obviously, Ryder was out, but they, they're they relying too heavily on a bloke that's fucking 53 years old and played at three clubs. Mm-hmm. Rowan mm-hmm. Marshall's not a ruckman for me. New forward. Yeah, but I'd be playing it over centre half. Max out straight out of the square, memory in the pocket. Yep. There's some trouble down at there. At a, where are they now? Yeah. Moravan? Now. Um, oh, trick. I got some breaking news. Yeah, go on, mate. After 54 games, Mad Jack Thor has retired. Come in 10 minutes ago, he's retired. Oh. Oh, breaking. Dylan with providing something for the podcast. Oh, I like that. Of course, that. it's Melbourne. Yeah, so. I like Mad Jack Thor. I like Mad Jack. Why is he retired? Just um, health? <coughs> I'm not sure because he's he, he was uh, my opinion. He was going to play this um, last week, but he tore his pec in the um, and that was eight weeks out. So yeah, he's had a fair few injuries. Yeah, I'll, I'll have I'll have a look into it. Um, Twelve years, mark of the year, it's huge biceps. Oh, oh man, he's, he's see him in person. Holy shit! He remember his mark of the year? Yeah, I, I've met him a couple of times. Good bloke, a great bloke, really good bloke. Did you have a beer with him? I have when I was 17. Oh, you naughty, naughty, naughty boy. Down at the old 17 parties they used to throw down at Lindale. Was he down there? Uh, one of my mates knew him and he was at a party with us one day. What's he like to take a party with? 
He didn't drink at the time because he was trying to play AFL. That shouldn't stop him? No, he was a really, he's a really good fella. Because he be your age group? Yeah, I think he's just a little bit younger than me. But no, really good fella. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, That's quite found sad. anything else into it before I move on to the next nah, game? nothing. It's just uh, so it's Sunday, classics. North Melbourne. This is actually a good first half, this game. And mm. then it just blew out. <laughs> North Melbourne, 8 2 58. <laughs> <laughs> 8258 defeated by Adelaide 17-13-115 Zerhar kicked two Larky Kurt, Curtis Taylor Curtis Paul Curtis Then Curtis Taylor mm. um, Mackay And Powell And Cherry all kicked one uh, The big tech set Kicked six Darcy Fogarty Was very lively Kicked four Jimmy Rowe two Shane McAdams Jake Saligo Ben Keys, Brody Smith And Riley O'Brien All with one Um, disposals Now this bloke Had 38 touches And he has officially broken An AFL record This is Aaron Hall Aaron Hall Off the halfback line Had a 1,169 metres gained That's not a bad game And that's broken An AFL record Why wasn't he A tricky spotlight Great call yeah. They lost So Still like They got pumped They get Still. pumped every week To, ha- to have that Stat wild. Pipe down you. Anyways, <laughs> Simkin <laughs> oh, with 28. Please. Simkin 28. Laird, again, 34 disposals, 11 tackles, 8 score involves, 11 clearances. Keys, 30 with 7 clearances. And Dawson with 29. Uh, talking points. Jackson Archer's debut. Also 20. shouldn't have been picked. Huh? Shouldn't have been picked. I agree. You like him? He's averaging like six disposals oh, in the yeah. VFL. First game, he came in, he had 15 touches, and within the first 20 minutes, he's involved in a fight. Oh, that was good. It's loved it. Go. Just loved, see, it. Um, loved, loved it. The reaction of his family. Dad and he was fight. getting... Re- I was like, this kid will not have any fight in him. Because look at the size. And next minute, he's... An archer, at, of course he's he is. absolutely giving it. I'm like, get in there, son. Of get in there. An archer without fight. Come on, Tricky. No, not like that, but I didn't think he was going to be rough and tough like Glenn. Of course he would. Oh, look at the size of him. Come on, Tricky. Mate... You wouldn't, you wouldn't even know what Glenn Archer was like, mate. Deal's a little pit bull over there. Look at him. Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> there it is. The pit bull coming out. <laughs> oh, and Tricky's lost it. I might have to take over here. I can't see oh. that far, though. Oh, for the best ben, ben, ben McKay played forward. You mean Harry? Yeah. Someone did say that. So that, Harry's a uh, I think it was Rory Laird. They said, "Oh, Ben McKay's gone forward. You wouldn't have been. You wouldn't be prepared for that." He goes, "Oh, rumor has it, might be Harry actually." <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it was Rory Laird. He said it. Uh, but yeah, they were rated that. And um, I think down here, Connor might be onto something. Rory Laird is a smoky for Brownlow. I've told you. You guys laughed at me about this. He might Rory be Laird is a genuine uh, smoky. smoky, genuine smoky. Hey, willing to put some money on it. Yeah, well, let's see. I think I put on a bet before. Go on right now. Oh, God. If it, if it right now, up, I, I actually had a bet on two races, so let's see if any of them got up. Right now, I do not have a sports bet account because I'm under 17. If you're under se- if you're under 18, do not gamble. Oh, that's up, deal. That was a paid no, for round. got up. It'd be... But I, I've won about 100 today as well. So we'll just... Mm. It's in my account. So I'm going to... He's definitely a smoky. The How much pro- is he paying? It'd be like twenty bucks. I will if you want. I can't, you know, can't get reception up here. Out there you could have just connect. Show. You could have just connected to this Wi-Fi here. Oh, well, you never told yeah, me. Yeah, come yeah, on, trick, mate. You're, like, you're shocking. I can tell you right now. If I go, he's not even giving out the Wi-Fi password up in the show. Oh, Dylan has. I had to get to my. I had to get myself. No, yeah. I gave it to you, Dylan. Yeah, I had to get it myself. Seriously, though, like, uh, if, if there's any uh, heating and cooling out there, can you get a heater hooked up in the love? Agree, show? agree, agree. I could have brought mine up. I'm looking to you, Savage Air. Okay. Come up here and hook up some shit. Who, who are we looking for? Rory Laird. I think you can check a cheeky fiver on him. Is that like 50s, isn't it? Keep going. Oh. 70? Keep going. 80. 81. Oh, chuck 10 bucks on him right now. <laughs> 100% I'm chucking 10 bucks on that when I get paid tomorrow. Are you that poor? So looking oh. at it looking at it now. I just don't want to chuck 10 bucks Lockie on him Lockie Neal's right the favourite. $3.75. Yeah. Followed by Clayton Oliver at $4.50. Then Brayshaw at five, as well as Cripps at five. Then mm. you've got Sam Walsh at 10. Yep. Petrarca at 13. Yep. Took Miller at 18. Mills at 21, and then just goes out from there. He's serious. 
it, at eighty ones, truck truck fifty bucks on it. Fuck it. I forgot to mention before, Dill. Um, are you worried about Petrarca and him in front of goal? He's having a pretty ordinary year. Oh, it's terrible. Um, his goal kick is not very good. Our forward line. What do you mean it's not very good? He's, he's known as a goal kicking midfielder. What do you mean his goal no, kicking is not very good? Shot, set shot. To be fair, Dill, you he hasn't kicked the goal for what, what, I think it was like six weeks. Yeah, he's set yeah, shot. Yeah, he's been bad. he's been awful. For don't don't just give me. You tell me all he does is set shots. I'm just saying he's set shots are bad. So that's not a very good reason. His whole football game at the minute. Right bad. now it's bad. Yeah, well, well, I mean it's not bad, bad, but it's. Not well, you said he was going to win the Brownlow. Not the track we know. You said he was going to win the Brownlow. Yeah, it's true. To be fair, I said Marky Bonapelli. Yeah, so but, um, we'll, we'll zip it for the time being, shall we? Yeah, we'll, no. I, we'll touch base back on this because I've got a couple of things I want to ask you later. What do we do? We, just do it now. Is Mel honestly? Is Mel going to win the flag? See, I've had I've had some serious shower thoughts. <laughs> shower Are we thoughts. actually going to be something this year? Some phone calls a goodie. I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> um, it would have been not this kid again. And I thought, <laughs> look, look. <laughs> I th- I say this as a premiership threat. Yeah, I'll allow it. I I think for me, I who's your one? No, I will. Just let me talk tricky. Yeah, come on, tricky. Um, so I I looked at it the other day. Melbourne's defense really good. Yep. Midfield really good. Forward line. Oh, poor. it's bad. Poor. Tall. Uh, tricky's going to the top. Here we go. Now we're actually have some real good chats without tricky interrupting us every two seconds. Pop down, pips quick. Pips quick. Oh, zip it. Toilet break, mate. Come on, you're running a podcast. You can't just go after. Are the we toilet. are we able to like lock him out? All right. Anyways, while, while we actually have some good um, in depth chat, um, fuck's sake, tricky. Yeah, our um our forward line is very lacking, especially Ben Brown. He he's in some bad form. Oh, it's terrible. He like he can't get into a pack mark. He's probably as fucked in the camera, but um, he's, he can't body people. Um, like like a true full forward can't with those one on one. He he's Game is just basically lead up, Mark, yeah. or just lucky. In yeah, the I think that's why they got rid of him in the end at North because yeah, he's only got a couple of tricks. But so what's what's uh, Melbourne missing then? For full forward, I thought we had it, but we yeah. had him last year, final series. But his form is just out. Who's that? Um, Fridge. Nah, Fr- Fridge is also in some average form. Mm. Cause he's starting to play good. Yep. Um, who else got down there? Wait, oh, not a fan of Wiedemann at all. He's got no fight in him. Um, just gives up. Um, who so else? you're saying you're missing McDonald? Yeah, yeah. I never thought I'd say that, but we're missing McDonald. McDonald out of form is one of the worst players in the comp. McDonald in form is yeah. the best player in the comp by a country mile. The carnivore diet. Oh, mate, he's in. Do you follow him on Instagram? No. Oh, he's, he he eats some fucking. Yeah, he just eats meat. Good. I don't blame him. It's fucking tasty, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, realistically, I don't feel we're, we're going to go back to back. My my brain says no. My heart says yes. That's, yeah. that's so. Who's going to win it? Trick as he walks back in. He's going to say Collingwood, break. and he's just going to be delusional. like, "Delusional, they won't make the eight. Yeah, Collingwood will not make the eight. They are pretenders. I'm going to throw in um, Sydney. Sydney, I'm yeah. Sydney, you're going to f- take it away. Sydney. Um, Ferrero did for a bit. Um, good old. Sorry, we're just uh, directing the camera. Again. Yeah, we're, we're we're having a conversation. Maybe after our conversation. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, that's good. I'm centerpiece. Just the way it should be down now. Um, yeah, I think Sydney's probably going to be the one that I reckon they're just a little bit of a smoky for me. I like to see them win. And you got the Blues. Ah. Oh. Hey, well, once if you look at when they get all their uh, their players back, it's pretty much come that back end of the year they'll be ready to go for finals. Oh god, yeah. Injuries just cooked out. Injuries and punching people can yeah ruin a team. Good old Steve May. Well, what 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 was the next game trick? Uh, next game, what? Oh, the Pies against my GWS Giants. Mate, you're not a member like me. Not yet. I'll buy one next year. Okay, uh, the Mighty Pie, they're coming. Uh, they're oh, coming. Uh, we should have really dominated GWS, to be fair. Oh. No. Listen, they kicked 22 points. 11, we kicked, Collingwood, 11 22, 88 for GWS, 12 5 77. Jamie Elliott kicked two, My Check two, Henry two, Cameron two, Ginevan, Sidebottom, McCleary all kicked one. 
Jesse Hogan was lively with his four. Riccardi, two. Green was kept quiet with one. <sighs> Kelly, Cornelio, Whitfield, Lockie Ash, and the other green. Disposals. Sidebottom had 26 of eight score involvements, and Josh Jacobs had 25. Cornelio had 31, set, uh, two goal assists and seven score involvements. Harry Himmelberg playing off that half back line had 30 with 11 marks and 710 metres gained. And Isaac Cumming had 27 disposals. Um, what do you guys think of the game? Jeez, Collingwood are good, aren't they, Trick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hop, boys, hop. You, has anyone also? Uh, this is. Hot pies, hot pies. Yeah. Oh, God. Oi. Okay, keep going. All right, you've got two minutes. What's that? Four and 20? Hot pies. We able to mute him. Which, which mic? <laughs> yeah. Which mic's tri- tricky? Big, mic three. All right. Has anyone, and this is a, to the listeners as well, has anyone ever noticed that when we come to a Collingwood uh, review, how. How long this goes for? I thought Melbourne went for a oh, while. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I haven't got much to talk about in this one. No, you don't. But yeah. fuck, we got good. <laughs> oh, my God. You've got GWS in Melbourne, please. Don't make... I mean, I love GBS. Don't get me wrong. Oi, we beat you. Second favorite. We beat you. Second favorite. Flag favorites. As a GWS member, that's disrespectful. Oh, no. I'm, I'm in a GWS enthusiast Oh, myself, don't, don't go back in your word now. All right. Um... <laughs> Elliot could have had a big game. I think he kicked two goals four. He's only a kick straight. I check kicked two goals three. Elliot two goals three. Henry two goals one. Ginnivan one goal two. Ginnivan was good though. Dacos kicked three behind. I know, and it was all in, all in the space for about five minutes. Did Ginnivan have 20 touches? I believe he was lively. Uh, Ginnivan had Nine, 18. 18. One goals two. That's not a bad game though. What's our thoughts on Ginnivan's um, play it. style? I Loved diver, it. Absolute flop. Diver, I love it. Absolute flop. Oi, he sucked him in oh, during God, the yeah. game, though. Yeah, but it's not its not something to be proud of, Trick. No, but, but they should, they've, you should be getting suspended for that. I wouldn't. It's not a good look for the game, Tricky. No, but Take like, your Collingwood goggles off. It is not a good look. I don't wear goggles inside, or I don't choose to wear goggles, so you, that was a bit irrelevant. But anyways. Yeah, um, quick miss, bloke. I'm going to... Uh, not another shit call I'm muting you. My thoughts on Githerman is it is very good, and I love watching him play. Yeah, he's great to watch, but he's a little twit. It is so good how he sucks in the players and gets free kicks. I'm gonna. I wish I, I wish I could be plays. Like Why him. can't you deal? Why can't you play like him? First of all, talent. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't get the genes. Um, I think you've got the uh, the annoying personality. I think I've got that. It's just I just. I, I I think he could take more of a hit than you could though. Oh shit! You'd yeah. be down like a flea. I'd be down and out. He'd be in the emergency room at Casey. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> I don't have been a hospital in footy yet. Yeah. Let's, let's not make that a uh, touch of what I will not be, but... Who are we playing this week? Rye? Rye on I'll sort out some contacts. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got some sources down there. I'll get them one of them. Um, Stephen Canelio is definitely back, though, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Playing in the midfield. He's a true midfielder. Himmelberg as well. Is he more of a half-back now? Oh, you would think so. 30 disposal. I don't yeah. mind him as a forward, though, as well. I don't mind him as a player. You know who should get out of the forward line? Haynes. Nick he was only there to play a negating role in Darcy Moore. Horrendous. Oh, 100%. Horrendous. No, um, it wasn't a bad idea. And did you notice Toby Green went to Nick Dacos at the first bounce? Yeah, I did see that. And But he only kicked one. He wasn't... Jesse Hogan with four straight, too. Jesse Hogan's a good player. Jesse Hogan is a gun. If oh, 100%. He, he fixes off-field things. Not, like, he could be one of the best in the league. I agree. Thank you. You look at... Melbourne's culture didn't help him. It's just a shit club. I agree. We had shit culture at that time, but look at us I now. We're freaking and yeah, look at us now, punching on, punching on, a, <laughs> punching on at local like restaurants. One bad <laughs> look at us now. Apple. One bad apple it was. Um, and where are you tricking on the ladder? <laughs> we're in the top eight. Are you? Yeah, we are. We're eighth, I think. Yeah. I don't get GWS. They should be dominating sides I with agree. the players they've got. They should have won 26 team yeah, flag. No, Collingwood has seventh. <laughs> Um. Yeah, not a bad game. Pies keep winning, which is upsetting because fuck Collingwood. I agree. Well said, Connor. <laughs> but especially the fans. Bunch of fucking cunts. <laughs> oh, come on, Dill. Don't drop the C bombs. Yeah, pull it out. Sorry. Put your head in, mate. Just All right. What do we? The need. This was the game of the round. I agree. Oh. This was the game of the round. I agree. The pair. The pair. If you guys remember last week, Holty predicted a draw. Then we said, "What the dare?" First, he went with 80 nuggets. Connor said 100 nuggets in 10 minutes. I have got confirmed from Holty. 
watching this game, he was shitting himself. Oh, he was. Okay. He was right. shitting himself. But but thankfully for him, he didn't have to do it. But I reckon we should just convince him to do it anyway. I reckon we can convince him. What do you guys, what do you, um, listeners, what do you guys reckon? Send us a message in the Instagrams. If we get enough accounts, people, how, ma- how many people do we get? We'll, we'll, we'll say people. If people message us in that, in that thing, how much people? How many people? How many messages? How many messages? One. <laughs> We'll go five. Ten. Uh, five. Seven. I can get I can five, yeah, five. Five, F- easy. five messages and we will get Holty to a hundred. He doesn't notice at this point, but oh, nah. we'll he will be peer live. pressured. We'll do it on YouTube. No, nah, we're going to have to do it at work, won't we? At work? No, we won't do it at work. Okay, yeah. But we'll, we'll, get it from, we'll get it We'll, we'll get it from work to support oh, no. the Amstel McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And it'll come out of Connor's paycheck. <laughs> it's coming out of trickies. <laughs> no one had thought so. Yeah. Dylan, your Bitcoin? Yeah, we'll get Dylan's Bitcoin down on it. Oh, my Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah. So obviously, uh, Gold Coast lose by two points. I think I was the only one that tipped the pair last week. You went yeah, the Suns. Did I? You went the Suns. I reckon. Yeah, it's, that's a tricky thing to do. <laughs> you get off it, mate. You would have went the Suns too. You love them. Oh, I think I'll see where I went. Yeah. So I reckon. Well, we said Port were done. What two weeks ago now? And they've won the last two. They're back. They're uh, I still don't think they can win it. They're not going to win it, but they're going to make the eight. Do you think they'll make the eight? Well, I would say Gold Coast ain't making the eight now. I hope they are. If they make the eight, they're not going to make the eight now. Bulldogs will. A Bulldogs in the eight. Uh yep. Well, they'll stay. So you've got Collingwood, Kilda, Richmond, Collingwood, Bulldogs. Collingwood will stay. You've got St Kilda, Richmond, Bulldogs. Mark my word, Collingwood will stay. Oh, oh, with our run Tricky. home, we Tricky. will stay. Tricky, sure. With our run home, we Let will stay. Continue. They, they won't. Speak. You've got Saint. You've got. I tell you, won't be Essendon. Oh my god. Oh really? Yeah. Well done. Was Saint that really Kilda? hard to fucking? Oh, beat, did to okay, f- go go with Saint Kilda. Oh then nah, god. fuck no. We're beating Saint Kilda. No, yeah. no. Richmond will make it though. Yep. All right. We'll, and then Bulldogs will make it. Yep. And I think you'll drop out. Don't. I disagree. What are you going to get? A, go ahead and see. Have you seen? Have you seen our run home? All right. So you got Suns next week. Win. You will probably lose. You got Win. North next week. So that's Win. two losses. Loss. Win two wins. Adelaide, Adelaide. That's oh. three wins. No, no tricky. The, come on, the crumb. Three um, wins. Port at the G. Four wins. Oh, you've got Essendon in there. They'll lose that. Melbourne at um at the G. That's a you touch and go. That's a win. You've got Essendon in there, mate. We play. They play Essendon before Port. Which ones probably have? Um, they go Gold Coast, North Adelaide, Essendon, Port. Yeah, I probably just accidentally clicked through Four. one. Anyway. You'll, yeah, but the thing is, you'll drop one of those. You'll drop some. Absolutely yeah, no, I man. agree with you, but I'm saying our run home, there's no reason why we should drop out. Would you agree with that part? You would think so, yeah, yes. I'll agree with you. You've got that. a good run home. I'll admit that. Um, but you suck, so. Todd Marshall, proven again, kicked four. Yeah, he was good again. Georgie Artis with two, Rosie with two, um, and then Chol and Rankin both kicked three. Casbolt kicked two, and Alice kicked two. Um, what else we got here? Houston at 30, Bonner at 30, Amon 26, 10 marks and 10 tackles, Wines 26 with 7 clearances, Miller had 30 with 10 tackles and 9 clearances, and I don't know why White Miller, I reckon that's supposed to be Anderson with 25, I don't know. A- Anderson had 23. Who had 25? Swallow. Swallow, I wrote Miller twice. So, no, Alright, no, no, well no, I've got, I'll give you some talking points to this game. Yeah, I didn't run it down. Alright, so if Took to- Miller is in, in a Victorian club, He's one of the best guys in the comp. Correct. Agree. He can run. He's a both ways running midfielder. He is a freak, absolute ball. He like I'm telling you now, he should be getting the talks of like Paddy Cripps and those kind of guys. This guy is a serious. Where's player. he from? Victoria. Is he from Victoria to Miller? Do you think a club will chase him? You'd be stupid not to. Might as well. Isaac Rankin. He's come up in the last month. Yep. Star. Yep. Absolutely. And you know another one that should be spoken more about is Connor Rosie. Yep. He's a superstar. Mm-hmm. He's is he better than Zach Butters? Oh, yeah. I'd take Rosie over Butters every day of the week. Would you? Oh, yeah. I guess Rosie's more class, Butters is more hard. Yeah. Yeah, Butters But then you've, you've sit there and told me you take an inside player over an outside player every day of the week. Butters is an inside and Rosie's an yeah, outside. Yeah, but I like Rosie. He just he finishes nice. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, Like every now and then you need that silky player. And he is that silky player. You gotta be a doing about him. But he's also he's pretty oh. hu- he's pretty tough too. Oh, I didn't say that. He's yeah. pretty tough. Yeah. Um. That, that was a cracking game. I, I remember Tricky. If you're not watching this, get on it right now. These last two minutes have been fucking awesome, and you were spot on. 
Did anyone was everyone watching it at this point? Yeah, though? I was watching. Yeah, it all, yeah, I got a message. I was like, "Oh shit, might as well watch." W- were you watching it before that though? No. That's what I mean. So I, uh, ro- my brother came in running, saying, "I'll oh, put the game on." New message. I was like, "Okay." Here's here's one for you though. Is Jared Witts the best ruckman in the comp? No. Why not? Tim English is. As a hit hit out ruckman, the best. There's no one better than Witts. Ryder. He lost to Sam Draper two weeks ago. He lost hey, to Andrew out. Phillips. Hit out Ruckman. There's right. no one better than Jared Witts. Can we all agree on this? <laughs> I've watched Darcy Cameron. Gold Coast games. He had 41 hit outs. Darcy Cameron. Jared Tricky. Witt. Riley O'Brien. Tricky. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be wrong because Tricky's just, just, been, <laughs> just not all there. Well, I forgot to mention though, Darcy Cameron is a star the last few weeks he's coming in and he's going to make it hard where we play Grundy and how we play Grundy. Oh, how, where are you going to play Grundy? I'll no, no, but how we play him. In the Rock. No, but well, you know, you know what I mean. Pocket. You know what I mean. You can't tell me they they will, but you can't tell me they're just going to d- disadvantage how well Cameron's been playing. I mean, oh yeah, it's hard too. But he'll play forward, which is sad. Yeah, but he'll just pinch it in the ruck, and Grundy will re- probably spend a bit more time <laughs> forward now as well. But seriously, Witz is the best tap ruckman in the competition. Um, he's yeah, up there. Yep, forty-one hitouts, eight clearances. Okay, still does cut move, but yeah, twenty disp- twenty disposals. Ooh. Not a bad game. Not bad. We won't look at his efficiency. Why? 50%. <laughs> Typical seven scoring, seven score involvements. That's a pretty good game from our man, Witsy. Oh, good old Witsy. You want to come on the potty? Just let us know, mate. Oh, we'll no. have a spot here for you. Always a spot. We got, so we got Witsy. I don't think you'd uh, fit in the love shack, though. We got Witsy, the Mornington Peninsula Football Netball League umpire that Trolty's had a run in with a couple oh, of times. Have we which one? Ha- uh, which one? Isn't old it? guy. All and of he, them. And he says, he says um, you wouldn't have a game without us. Oh, was that against Sunville? I think so, yeah. Oh, we had, we had another rogue one on the weekend. Did you have him as well? I don't know, did I? I had an old guy and a young guy. No. The young guy was all right. No, we didn't. Do. But, very D- No, we're not here to bag umpires. No, though. we're not. I, I, I respect. I, res- I respect umpires and what they do. How about you show some player respect? Um, have have we got the confirmation that he's going to come on the podcast, that umpire? I haven't been in contact with him. Oh, come on, um, Dylan, when are you bringing in a guest, mate? When are you providing for the podcast? Oh, I've got millions of guests you can get. Yeah, well, can you get in some contacts with some people? i got um, Connor Harmer. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. I've asked him. Please. And he said no. Please. I tried to bring Craig on today. Yeah, I said in the future we'll bring back Craig. Oh, I'm talking more high end. I'm talking. He was. I'm talking. He was I'm talking. Devastated. I might start with seeing him. His first name I start with seeing his last name might begin with an M. I don't know who that is. Cardman. No. Cardman 22. Yeah. No, no, Mad Melbourne supporter. Has a podcast now on Spotify. Oh, really? Oh, I don't, I don't know who that is. Anyways, we'll move on. Just who are we talking? Katie. Shout out Katie McDonald. Great fella. Oh. You can see you can get him on. Yeah, you can get him on. Make it happen then, mate. Um, I'll mess you right now. Just do it. Okay. Anyways, do you want to talk about the cricket? Yeah, probably good. All right, well, Dil, we've lost Dill now, so Dill's, uh, I think he's playing uh, Candy Crush over there now. <laughs> I'm messaging uh, Kane McDonald, thank you very he's much. He's playing ca- Candy Crush. Do we get his scores up or do you want me to get him up? Uh, which game are we going to do? you want to do the, let's, well, I guess Holty touched on the New Zealand, uh, England uh, one. Obviously, Friday night, I stayed up and watched this after the footy because I was in a ball of rage. <coughs> uh, bring it up, bring it up. Uh, it's fair back, way back. What game are we talking? Friday nights. Um, so obviously Australia played Sri Lanka in the last ODI. Australia bowled out Sri Lanka for 160. Full of wickets was one for nine. Uh, two for 12, three for 34, four for 56, five for 56, six for 61, seven for 62, Eight for eighty-five, nine for one. That's disgraceful three, that they've let them have a partnership like that. There, yeah, that's a bit of disgrace. All out for one hundred and sixty. They absolutely let, had them on the ropes. One, two, three, four, five, six. They had number eight bats for make seventy-five. Yeah, he actually batted really well, though. Trick. Is, so full is, he, is he classified as an all-rounder? Oh, uh, I don't know. I think he plays any Devi Hills thirds. <laughs> Jamaica, Crook, how do you say his name? Kura Ratna. There you go. Um. Obviously, Australia got the chocolates, uh, passing them six down in the, whatever was it, trick, 30 some 39 in the last 40th, over. 40th. Yeah. Uh, That's not the last over, mate. 
the th- it was a 39th point, 39.3. Yeah, and one day the 50, mate. Oh, yeah, true. You're Sorry, talking, I was still thinking, thinking about like it. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a pretty awful game to watch, to be honest. Oh, hey. Finch is in some good fun. Uh, he needs to go. Get him, get him out. Good to see Inglis in the what, side. What? All right, we he oh, made it. I think we get it. He, uh, English, yeah, good to see English inside. Good he back, he backed that up, didn't he? Labuschagne batted pretty well for thirty-one. Carey. Alex Carey really held the uh, held the side together. Now, what about our boy Cameron Green? Oh, I love Cameron Green. Oh, Cameron Green. Ah, uh, that was awful to watch. It was. It looked hot. It, the ball was spinning everywhere. It was spitting cobras, but uh, that was disgusting. Obviously, do you want to talk about after that Australia A as well? Nah, fuck that. Let's not talk about that. Why not? We don't talk about that kind of stuff, mate. Australia A doesn't count for anything. Oh, it uh, does. Uh, does on Scott Boland's second fourfer. Yeah, Scott Boland's the man, though. We Scott Boland should be in the team. Oh, well, I think he will be. <laughs> so, obviously, you got the test match starting <clears> on <throat> Wednesday. Heads out. Who plays? Marshall yeah. Maxwell. Marshall Ma- I'd say Maxwell, but I think they'll go Marsh. I think they'll go Marsh, too. Dylan's... Oh, Mitch, no Marsh, Mitch Marsh or Glenn Maxwell? Oh, Maxwell. I love Maxwell. What As a test batsman? Oh, Marsh. <laughs> what level uh, Kenny Crush you got? Just message Kane McDonald, <laughs> boys. I haven't played Kenny Crush. It's a terrible game. Are we going to do tips? Uh, yep. We'll get them up. Dylan, you're going to be concentrating for this part too. Yeah. He's actually been pretty good today. I'm trying to get it up. Thank you, Glenn. I really do um, appreciate that. That's nice. Obviously, Thursday night's back again. Brisbane versus a Bulldogs. Be a At the Gabba. Oh, no. At the Gabba. Brizzy. Yeah, you think Brizzy. Brizzy, yep. Uh, Carlton St. Kilda at Marvel. And the Saints. No, I'm going calm. Blues. Blues, I'll be there in the box again. Very nice. Uh, Saint, oh, no, sorry. Essendon, Sydney, the MCG, 145 oh, Saturday. Come on, the Dons. I'm going Essendon. Of course I'm going Swans. Essendon. I'm going the umpires. <laughs> that's that's a no, cop out. I'm going Sydney. Um, Can you leave this? <laughs> Just get there, mate. Come on, you boys. Adelaide, Melbourne, at Adelaide Oval, Adelaide. The crumb. <laughs> Just because Dill's over there, we know Dill's going. Yeah, he's going the umpires. Can the umpires? Geelong North. Geelong. Geelong by nearly a hundred points. Oh, I'm going to go 150. I'm going North. Cameron's kicking eight. Oh, Cameron's kicking twenty. Cameron's kicking eight. Call it. Cameron's kicking eight. Yeah. Stingles kicking five. Three, no, I reckon three. No, Hawkins four, four, will we'll, kick we'll five. We'll go four. And Hawkins will kick five. And uh, Graham Myers will pop up for nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gold Coast versus uh, Collingwood at Metricon. Um, back in my boys, the Pies. No, nah, I'm going to the Suns. I'm going to the Suns. Yeah, come the mighty sun. Uh, Richmond versus West Coast of the MCG. Sunday, Richmond. Yeah, Richmond. I'm going the Weagle. Good old Ninthman. It's because they beat Essendon. No, yeah. I reckon they're on their improved, mate. They looked good <laughs> on Friday night. Uh, GWS Hawthorne. This Giants. will be a good game. Giants. Yeah, you would expect the Giants to go. Kind of my Giants. And uh, Fremantle in their favourite spot. <laughs> they're 520 on Sunday night. Frio v Port. Ah, Frio. Frio. Yeah, Frio should get that done. All right, well, guys, thank you for listening to this episode. Anything else you want to fill in? In Have we got a response yet, Dill? Nope. You're pretty useless, aren't you? I'm in the works for a new segment, but I'll I'll get back to you. On we'll that talk one. it off there after this. Yeah. I've got, a, I've got something uh, lined up, and it's from my man, Holty, because I know he's looking for love. We talked about it at work. Yeah. yeah Holty. Oh, yeah. you got to hook me up, too. Oh. No. Oh, we'll oh, talk no. about something off air. Okay. <laughs> Holty yeah, and Tricky be, wants a girl. That'll no, be, no, no, That'll no, be a dead no, segment. No, 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 if Tricky does, it'll be a dead segment. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for listening. As always, follow us on our, or you can listen to this via Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. You can watch um, some good clips that we put out on TikTok. All done by Moy. Anyway, so <laughs> uh, I think Dill's doing YouTube this week. Follow Instagram, our Instagram account, our Facebook account. We have hit over 200 likes on Facebook, so we'd like to thank everyone for that. Big round of applause. What, what happened? Since thank thank like, you to our family. 
We've the other guy's family. We, we all love you. That yeah, was Connor's kind of marketing strategy. Uh, I, I think it's since Holty's come and Dylan's been off the last few weeks, everyone started to get in. in a bit. Yeah, they're like, finally, these twits not coming on. Yeah, they, they were asking when JP's back and getting rid of that Dill bloke. But, uh, yeah, when's JP? Surely JP's free one night. No, I don't know. I don't even know. You yeah, because he listens, but I don't know. He would listen 100%. Would he have the attention span? Nah. No, you'd listen. Oh, I have faith in JP. Boy, JP. I have faith. Yeah, no, we love JP. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for listening and tune in for next week where we will have Halty back. Hopefully. Cheers, guys. Yeah, cheers.